A familiar face here at Thunderbird, and he's gearing up to compete in next Sunday's World Cup qualifier. Niall Nassar, welcome to Thunderbird. It's been successful for you so far here. Um, yeah, we've had we've had pretty good luck this year. Um, even when we came up in June, we had a pretty successful trip. Um, got a nice win under our belt yesterday in the first class of the week, so it's always nice to get started that way and kind of set the tone for the rest of the week. As with a lot of our international riders, you do get to travel all over the world and compete in different places. What would you say is unique and great about Thunderbird that keeps you coming back? That's a good question. For one, the staff. The staff is really, um, <laughs> the staff is really wonderful here. They make you feel so welcome. Um, secondly, the footing is, you know, second to none. Um, the grass is lovely to, to jump on. It's super well maintained and manicured. Um, the warm-up rings are super, and the prize money and the FEI status also brings us up here year and year, um, year after year, um, just to get those points. And then for next week, the World Cup qualifier. That's, you know, that's a big thing for us too. We try to get those World Cup points, and um, and honestly, we. We just love being here. <laughs> and is there any sort of confidence that you have in particular because you've had the success here getting on your horse going, I've done this before, no big deal? <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I do feel comfortable in that ring and my horses do too. So, um, you know, there are less, less things to worry about on our way in there and we can just focus on the task ahead of us. And um, as I said, you know, I think the footing and the materials and the course building, those are all um, things that they really pay close attention to and that helps us as riders to just focus on our job and know that everything is taken care of. And now a lot comes down to you preparing with the horses, but also the mental aspect. Are you superstitious at all or is there any sort of routine you go through the day of a big class to make sure that mentally you're there? Maybe not so superstitious anymore. I think I used to be a little bit more when I was younger, now not so much. I do have a bit of a routine, like I, I hack the horses a little bit in the morning and um, I try to get a nap in before a big class. Um, but generally, generally not try not to to think too much about it. And I mean, our sport has ups, has its ups and downs, you know how it is. So we try to just stay level-headed and try to do our job and hope that it's, it's enough. So the big class next Sunday, who will you be riding in it? And what can you tell us about the horse and maybe some of the quirks that the horse has that you've had to navigate through the time with them? Yeah, um, I'll be riding Lordan, who's my main horse. I've had him for about five or six years now. Um, so I mean, I know him like the back of my hand. Uh, and he knows me also. Um, he's He was great out here in June. Um, you know, when the jumps get a little bigger, he definitely gets a little sharper. So, um, you know, I think we'll have an advantage when the jumps go up next Sunday. Um, he's a little funky with waters and liver pools and things like that. He used to be a lot spookier than he is now, um, but he's kind of grown out of those things, I think. And he's really just a great, great horse and he's really competitive in any class he goes in. So I'm excited to have him and I'm excited to do that class. In terms of preparation with him, what is your preparation in the days leading up and on the day of with that particular horse? Um, Lordan actually makes my job pretty easy. Um, I just I just flat him really. I don't really I don't jump too much. I did a little gymnastic before we came up here at home um, just to get him a little loose. But um, you know we try to stay on top of the vet work and just make sure that he's feeling good in his body. But he's really he's he's a he's a top athlete. He knows his job and um, and he's generally always game for it. So it's really he he makes my job easy. Let's put it that way. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you guys compete. Best of luck Thank on you. Sunday. Thank you so much.